It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. And it's all up next on EA Sports. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we're inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember, for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. Devin DuVernay now returning from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Jackson first play going to throw making the catch this is the tight end Oliver and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45 heck of a start a 30 yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage that's some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage the last fireworks I saw July 4th okay here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way explosive right out of the gate so the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten first carry for the former Buckeye J.K. Dobbins and he'll get what he can up the middle three yards and he'll bring up second down Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play action. It's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Down inside the 10. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7 0. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes these up with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at 6'5". That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark. Could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Every effort defense is to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And that's going to be an incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he'll take this beyond the... The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Here's Allen. Escaping the pressure right. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And you used the proper word there, dependable. And sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially pick up nice yardage. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Adafe Owe so quick, and he gets to him there behind the line. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to be So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on to throw it's Allen incomplete certainly appear to take away his first three and by the time he tried to look elsewhere finding out the top goals incomplete an incomplete pass on that last play and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down now Allen they'll get eight but they're going to have to play here in the opening line because that's not enough well they were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game so he really had nowhere to go with the football here says to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. Found good room to run there. Returns at 14 yards. And the Ravens will take over. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession. Now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Tucker now for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 15 nothing first quarter game. Kick it away following the touchdown. McKenzie now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They find nice hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Singletary to get the drive started. And good yardage. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Throwing now is Allen. And it's incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball, receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. When you're down early, how do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Throwing on first down is Allen. 
And that is going to be in beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On second and ten, Allen under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him over the right on this first call. Justin Houston making his presence felt there. Nothing to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The two. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw. Allen. This one to the sideline. Here, but he gets a big short here on the first down. And fourth down, Matt Arisa is sent on to punt. Fielded just inside the 30. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Down sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go play action now. Jackson going for the deep ball. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. A CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side. He's feeling it. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. And one pass resulting in the touchdown. And two. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now out come the Bills. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think so because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. A second down pass. Yeah, it certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Throwing his Allen on third. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Patrick Green got him in the sticker. He gets the sack. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? Game, but as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And if you're wondering how quick a quarterback's decision-making needs to be, a next-gen stat says that play took all of 2.8 seconds from beginning to end. This offense returns to the field led by Devin Duvernay, a wide receiver. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he I would go ahead and double him, maybe even have a third person in the area, and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while, because I don't know that their talents... This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay. 
his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Ravens are able to add on to their first-half lead. It's not too often that you say, hey, this one's going to be over by halftime. And, CD, I know our bosses probably don't want us to say that because they don't want people clicking away. But this one might be over by halftime. And since you already put your job on the line by actually saying it, I will co-sign and go, we don't mean to do it. But this game has been exactly as you've described. I see no hope for them going forward. Tucker with the extra point. It's 28-0. Zone for six. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills going to take over again on offense. The results for them so far not that great. Well, as you're looking at your play sheet, trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play call? Here's second and seven now from the 28. To the air, Allen. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A pickup of a bat. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Allen now looks to throw. They completes it to the tight end, Knox. As they're able to get the third down conversion. And he'll be hit at play. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen going to throw. The ball comes out. Wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Allen. And that is incomplete. Yeah. This first time is not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is brought in at the 21. Is down the right side, and he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. What a run, 79 yards on the punt return. And the Ravens have taken a five-touchdown lead. Well, it certainly feels like that kind of game, doesn't it? No matter what they do, it's going to work. That might be the absolute crusher right there. A punt. There's been a lot of crushers in this game. This lead just gets bigger. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And the round is on here in this first half. You know, he has home run hitting ability in the punt return department. And he showcases it there all the way back. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Bills getting set to go. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of it. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little bit. It's up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Allen. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple players getting home there for an they had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Yeah. 
Not wanting to risk another sack. They'll play it safe for the run. He's at the 50. And all the way down to the... The Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravensons are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with during a dive set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. He's going to look deep down the field. And this one. They weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. This is intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And that first half will string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. They got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get only a couple. Talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you. But you're going to make a really nice play. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taken from just outside the 30. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. This offense returns to the field led by Devin Duvernay. We're about the quarterback, or we talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. How about some credit for the receivers, yeah, though? Absolutely. Who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in a route, or they get open. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. But with the size of lead that this offense has, I don't think that interception is really going to affect them much. But at least for this defense, something small to hang their hat on. Yeah, and let's face it, they're not even scoreboard watching anymore, right? They're just trying their best to make a play, get themselves off the field, which they just did, and salvage a little bit of pride in this one. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. There's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. 
You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Allen to throw it. And this one taken in. Partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Flush it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Picks up his second sack of the afternoon. It's been a tough game up for this offense. Already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, they, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of it. Send the punter out as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this away as he'll wisely, I'd say, angle this to the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. This offense returns to the field led by Devin Duvernay, a wide receiver. So far, he has the trio of that on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I'll know. Three touchdowns so far. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. And this one taken in a play. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. A well hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Allen eluding the pressure right. And he works his way. Singletary, they'll go off the middle. And he'll be taken down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. That's caught by Gabriel Davis, and he'll be taken. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the in back now in Baltimore. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Allen. Open man downfield is Davis. Six yards after the big play. A chance to finish now on first and goal. Singletary is in. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. This offense returns to the field led by Devin Duvernay, a wide receiver. He's north of 150 yards in this type of game. If you accumulate that throughout a season, you can be one of the top receivers in the game. See how much they incorporate him here on this drive. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Ed Oliver. Because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive 
Looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. They're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. We're going to call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 44. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Back to throw. Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 32 on the play. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Looking to throw. Allen. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. He's at the 30. 10. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Tucker with the extra So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. McKenzie now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchdown. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And you can sort of sense rough go for them. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. And this is the end of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And this is going to be guys with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And that is caught. It's Davis. The 40. The 20. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Excellent execution. Red zone. I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use momentum to launch another one. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. 
And that throw behind. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Allen to throw once more. And that is caught, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way out to about the 35-yard line. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Now they are really in the driver. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. Room here to run! And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Tucker now to add the point after. Now this one was over a while ago as they just got to their big lead. I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it's good indeed. One play on the mix. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up and it leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. On first down, Allen. Well, he was hit as he threw lead. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back to throw. Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And they're going to get them to get up and set in a hurry. That's going to be nothing. One. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And a few kneel down. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. Looking deep downfield. And for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? 
fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other, but it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Do is in the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because this is how I'm going to get back to practice in the next couple of days. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And they're going to get this down to a bat for a chain mover. They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. He reaches the eight-yard line. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory.